Hi, and welcome to the Sheree Moore Show. I'm Sheree. This thing always pops up. I don't know why, but I keep saying something about stop recording because something is been doing something. I don't know. Well, today, I want to give you a story about how my day went. I have a place where I call my happy place that I like to go and I like to work out and I like to go jogging and play basketball um, and watch other people just have fun and enjoy themselves and relax and de-stress. I really like this place. So before I could do that I had some errands to run and and I uh, went to Walmart and it was kind of funny because when I went to Walmart I was driving you know my drive was nice it was pleasant for it to be a Saturday usually on Saturdays it's like a lot of traffic and the traffic can be irritating but for some reason things were they weren't like really smooth and so I was just really thankful about that. I was like, thank you, Lord, that this traffic is not bad and everything's just flowing smoothly and it's not like a bunch of people coming in town to do, you know, go going to uh, college football games and things like that. It was just really nice. So I went to Walmart and it's funny because I turned left and I happened to see the same man and his two boys holding the cardboard sign that I saw at Publix yesterday. I just saw them at Publix yesterday. As a matter of fact, I gave something to them, um, like a bag of food and like a few dollars, maybe a little bit more than a few. But, um, and so I, I believe that when I noticed him, he noticed me at the same time. Because he, because when I um, handed them the food and stuff, I was in my car, so he noticed my car, and so I saw him turn away and like turn his sign away, you know. And I said, "Yeah, he just noticed me." But what's so funny is um, when I saw them, I turned, I turned to the right, and so um, I said, "Why did I turn down this this um, aisle? Hopefully, or turn down this lane? Hopefully." Um, I find a parking space because it, you know, Walmart on a Saturday is full. The parking lot is full of people, and so I was just wondering, okay, did I turn to avoid him, or you know, to avoid the awkwardness of like that four dollars didn't, you know, <laughs> this I don't know, I don't know what I was thinking, but I turned uh, right, and I kept driving. I said, well, maybe, you know, maybe the Lord is gonna bless me with a closed parking space so I'll just keep driving so I kept driving slowly and lo and behold a woman was putting away all these groceries that she had in this basket full <laughs> into her car in the very first lane on the left hand side and um, I mean the very first parking space on the left hand side and she was going pretty fast. And I said, well, I'll just wait here, you know, because I'll get the first parking space. And it wasn't a handicapped parking space. So, I mean, to get a first parking space on a Saturday in a crowded parking lot, it had to be the hand of God. And, and um, really, the Lord does that with me a lot because I used to always have to pray for a good parking space. But now it's just almost almost like on automatic like the Lord just he just provides me with a parking space and and it just came to me just keep driving keep driving so of course I kept driving I wasn't gonna like you know um, turn around in this little lane so I said well I'll just keep driving maybe I'll see something close and right there in that first parking space I waited till she finished and the other good thing is when she finished with putting her stuff in the car she pulled forward there were two parking spaces in the front of Walmart of all places so she pulled forward to leave and what did I do I pulled forward too 
because why wouldn't you pull forward that way you can just go straight and when you're leaving you can just pull straight and go to the left and leave Walmart with no backing up no trying to you know look out for you still have to look out for pedestrians but I'm saying you're pulling forward not backing up so I pulled forward I had a first parking space at Walmart facing forward and that was just so beautiful to me that the Lord provided me with that so of course after I finished my shopping which was so pleasant and you know I I don't want to say this because Walmart is like one of my favorite places to go but now it's so crowded especially on the weekends especially in the afternoons on the weekends to the point that I'll go, usually I'll end up going somewhere else like to Winn-Dixie or somewhere Publix, anywhere but Walmart, just because I don't feel like dealing with that crowd. But even though it was crowded, I was still able to maneuver, get to all the places I need to get to. I didn't almost hit anybody with my cart because I'm like one of those people that go really fast with my cart and dart in and out of aisles and like I'm on the other side of Walmart before you know it, that kind of thing. So I was able to get through, get everything done. It was nice. It was pleasant. It was just something really different about it. And so, um, and I, Lord, I thank you for that. I appreciated that. So I left and when I left, I was leaving Walmart. Of course, the panhandlers were no longer there. So I don't know what happened to the man and the two little boys. But um, maybe he moved, I don't know, um, maybe he saw me and didn't want to run into me anymore. <laughs> I don't know, Is I mean, do panhandlers, can they get any more embarrassed or humiliated than panhandling? I don't know, maybe they can, they are people. I, I think that's one of the most humiliating things to have to ask for money and be in that kind of situation. And I know that it's hard for people sometimes I mean, I know what that hardness is about. Maybe I'll tell you a story about it sometime, but this is not the time. So, um, I went on and I went to my happy place. Um, and I was able to go jogging in, in my little area that I love to go jogging in. And um, after I ran a mile or jogged a mile, typically I like to play basketball after I um, jog. The jogging is more like a uh, warm up and then I love to play basketball afterwards. I mean just by myself you know sometimes I'll take my brother or a friend or something but for the most part I just like to play by myself because usually the people who ask me to play are really young you know young boys and I don't really want to play you know basketball with these little kids and their parents drive up and see this grown woman playing basketball with their kids. I don't know how that'll go down. So it just it just feels weird. This day and age is so different from what it used to be. When I used to be able to just play with anybody, now it's just a little. Mm, it just feels weird. So I just typically say no, thank you. You know, thanks for offering because I love getting asked. But you know, my answer is typically no. So I noticed there were, of course, you know, it's the middle of the afternoon on a Saturday. The basketball court was full. They have two courts, two full courts uh, side by side. So um, it was about 20 little boys using this full court over here. And then it's like somebody using half the court over there. So this one little half court was left on in the middle. But, you know, sometimes the boys, as they run down, they'll run and throw something over on that court too so I kind of felt like there was really no space I even after I jogged I tried to wait I'm like Lord why, why are all these little boys on my court like <laughs> can you move them from my court but I said okay they're still here and um as I was about to leave um one of the mothers came to pick up her son and I was hoping that you know I said hopefully she has like a car full of little basketball players and that'll clear at least some of that court off and I can go and play and no she only had one but there were still like 30 boys on the entire court and 
out of every three boys, one had a basketball. So there were basketballs everywhere, little boys everywhere, and no no place for me to play. So I said, okay, Lord, I just see this as, you know, maybe not today. Maybe this is just not my day. But tomorrow, I'm going to make up for it today because I just love playing basketball. It's just my exercise. That's how I get my exercise in. So later, um, I had a nice drive home. No traffic. Oh my goodness. This is just this is just a day made for just me and the Lord. It just had to be. And it was a gift from God because I mean no tra I mean, I can't say no traffic. When I say no traffic I mean that the traffic was not bad. Like it was running smoothly, everybody was going when they should go and they were going the right speed and Nobody was like darting in and out, even though a few people did, but it wasn't like, you know, irritating. You know how people cut in front of you, but don't turn on the signal light, that kind of way. So it was smooth going home. And I just said, Lord, everything else was so nice today. I just don't want to think about the fact that I couldn't play basketball on my court and all these little kids were on my court. So, <laughs> so there's really no way around that. Later, later on in the night, I started having, um, I started sneezing, you know, like pollen had gotten into my nose while I was jogging. And see, as long as you're, well, for me, as long as I'm warm and heated from jogging and exercising, I cannot tell that I don't have allergic reactions at that time. But I am highly allergic to pollen, dust, and that kind of thing. And so I started sneezing a little bit and um, it wasn't as bad as it was yesterday because yesterday I, I went jogging and I played basketball and it was terrible. I had to take NyQuil um, last night just to get through it. But today it wasn't as bad. You know why? Because I did not play basketball. So that just showed me that the Lord was looking out for my well-being. Because he knew that I would, I mean, right now, pollen, it's the beginning of spring. Pollen is so totally in the air. And you, and if you're a jogger or a runner, just let me know if you can relate to this. That sometimes you may not have allergic reactions right away until your body calms all the way down. And then you may reap some of the benefits of that pollen. <laughs> going in your nose and now you have to you're just constantly sneezing so now as you you may be able to tell that I'm sounding a little nasal because I have been sneezing I'm really not I'm trying not to sniff too hard because if I inhale too much <clears throat> I'll start sneezing like all over again so I just see that the Lord spared me um <laughs> that spared me that by not allowing me to play basketball today so tomorrow I plan on playing to my heart's content and I'm going to go early so I can have all both basketball courts all to myself so that's the thing about being a woman who loves to play basketball not too many other women love to play like that and it's kind of hard because um I mean, especially being a grown woman playing basketball, you just don't see that, like, really ever. <laughs> Unless you're watching WNBA or college basketball or something like that with women, you don't see it, like, normally, like, ever. It's kind of sad. But, um, so, yeah, that was my day. That's my story time. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Let me see. Was there anything else I wanted to cover in that story? Ah, oh, I tried to shingle my hair. And that, I just, I couldn't. I, this is a Bantu night out that I did. I, you know, did the gel thing. And it still has like some, it has like some leave-in conditioner or some deep conditioner that I mix with my shampoo. Um, <clears throat> in my hair so this is a bantu knot out but I tried shingling tonight as you can see and no it did not work out this is 
I mean, I, I did the water. I did. I even made a shingling custard, you know, where I mix some oils with some gel. And I'm not going to say the name brands because of the fact that um, I don't work for them. So <laughs> why should I give them any? I don't know. But I'll just say this. I use a pink gel and I use uh, an oil that helps your hair to grow. And um, I mixed it together with coconut oil um, and petrolatum mixed together. And I've done that before, but I did it with braids. I did it with uh, mini braids, and then I um, I gelled the very end, the very tip, and then it curled up. And it was a really pretty. Um, it came into a really pretty hairstyle. But just shingling my hair, nope, as you can see, it didn't work out. I, I sprayed it like I drenched it with a water spray bottle um, and then I got the gel and I was just doing this and doing this and it just didn't it, maybe I was looking I was uh, wanting it to look a certain way that it, it just did not I don't know but I don't know and then when I looked at all of this hair I would have to shingle I said nope <laughs> That's just not my hairstyle. I just don't. I can I can see myself doing braids again. I might do like natural braids where I just um you know put gel on the ends and work with that. But shingling this whole head of hair that I'm not looking forward to that and I'm not gonna do that. So I have too much else to do and too many other things I wanna do. So um and I watched so many YouTube videos of other women shingling their hair and it turns out so pretty on them. However, mine did not turn out like that. I didn't, more than likely, I didn't make these small enough, you know, sections. But like I said, I don't feel like doing all that to my whole entire head of hair. It's just, I can find better things to do with my time and shingling is just not one of them. I'm just sorry. I really wish I could show you, look at my results after I shingled my hair and oh look how you know bouncy and but mm, no girl this is not mm -mm. so hope you enjoyed my story time um I'm sure I'm going to come up with more stories but I said well let me start off with the story of how my day went so I enjoyed my day I had a really good peaceful day it was fun and it was like peacefully fun it wasn't like you know it wasn't like irritating fun so <laughs> I'm just thankful and I just hope you all had a great Saturday as well and hope you have a great weekend <coughs> sorry I need some water I didn't even get all my liquids after I went with the jogging but anyway Hope you all have a great, wonderful weekend. Have a blessed Sunday. Happy Saturday. And love forevermore. Bye. I did a video. Mm, mm, mm. I'm so glad I did a video finally. Oh my gosh, it's been sweet.